today we take a look at Jackson Kohler, a four-star forward out of Utah. If you haven't yet, please share and subscribe to help grow the channel, and I hope you enjoy the video. Today's video is powered by SeatGeek. Get $20 off any tickets sold using promo code ANTRIGHT on the SeatGeek app or website. When little Jackson was in middle school, he was bigger than most kids but didn't show the lack of coordination, looking like a baby version of Mikola Jokic at times. Had a nice jump shot, had good footwork in the post using a series of pivots and fakes to create space. Could see he was comfortable with his body and knew how to play the game the right way at an early age. He's grown quite a bit, up to 6'9", 250 pounds now. Ranked the number 67 player overall and the number 11 power forward in the country. He has the prototype of a skilled, below the rim big with great hands, good footwork, who can stretch the floor like a Jokic or a guy like Elton Brand. His player comparison today is going to be the high school version of former UCLA forward and current NBA player Kevin Love. Elite hands and footwork, nice jump shot out to the three point line, can finish over either shoulder on the block, good passer out of the low and high post, tough, tough rebounders. Kohler held several offers from schools like Southern Cal, Oklahoma, Illinois, Kansas, Iowa, Washington, Texas Tech. But on September 19th, about a week after he visited East Lansing, he committed to Michigan State. Smooth, smooth jump shot that extends well past the three-point line. Quick release and Ivan for his size, just a quick release period. Usually big men have to lock and load up or they bring the ball down to their thighs to get rhythm, but Kohler doesn't waste any movement. Really nice placement up top with the ball slightly above his forehead. His humorous flat with the forearm, almost at a 90 degree angle, doesn't grip the ball with his fingertips. The basketball is resting perfectly between the distal transverse crease and the proximal digital crease on his palm. His offhand is there, but not in the way. And on the follow through, he doesn't engage the offhand thumb with the basketball. He just disengages the offhand altogether. This is as close to a perfect form as you can get. If his shot is off, it's gotta be something mental because there's absolutely nothing wrong with this form. Here's where he takes his jump shot to another level and becomes pretty unguardable if he's hitting these shots consistently. It's tough because you can't shadow either shoulder and defenders have to play him straight up. The only solution is to make it harder for him to catch it on the spot or throw a double team at him, although he's a pretty good passer out the post. One-on-one -on -one in this area is pretty much barbecue chicken. I went over his form before and he doesn't compromise it when he's on the move or he goes to his counter spins and fadeaways. Unlike his spot up threes and face ups, he gets lift in the mid post where he has to shoot over defenders, backing down defenders and then he counters going to the opposite shoulder. Does a nice job at baiting one way, playing physical and then spinning to get to his turnaround jumper that at times he's shooting on the way down. Fading, switching directions, doesn't matter. He's still on balance. I'm not sure when he started training with someone, but the training he's been getting is from someone who clearly knows what they're talking about. He is so hard to guard in the paint and around the basket. Good footwork going either way will back down the defender before going to his jump hook. Comfortable going baseline whether spinning and bulldozing or using his footwork and size to create angles to finish and or get fouled. He's not the type to really face up and attack quite yet. Saw flashes at some of the national camps, but he's more comfortable with his back to the basket in the low mid post area. When he gets within a few feet, he's patient, takes his time, pump fakes against long athletic bigs, throwing off their timing before he lays it in with either hand. This is also why his little mid post game with his jump shot is so dangerous. Teams just don't know how he's gonna attack them. Not the most athletic, and I'm sure he would say the same. In a straight line running the court, he's pretty solid. With his size alone, he's able to offer some rim protection, but when going up against the best bigs in the country, he'll need to depend on his strength, IQ, and timing to close the gap against some of these athletic guys with length on that end of the court. He has really good hands so he doesn't have to jump and then double jump relying on his vertical too much. He controls loose rebounds by tapping the ball to himself to take full control of the possession. Overall, he's a really well-trained player, like really, really well-trained player. He's put in so much work and it's evident with where his skill set is. His game goes to another level once he increases his lateral quickness and agility to make sure he can guard the pick and roll against quicker guards. He's already going to be a handful for defenses, but if teams can't attack him on the other end, he becomes a real matchup problem for anyone in the Big Ten.
Van Dyke Edge. Can't guard me.